in the plant profile series today we will see the Juliet tomato a very prolific variety of tomato that's a lot of fun to grow in your garden as a part of this video I also wanted to share one tip that uh, some of you had actually asked about is how I water my containers so this is what I do I take a quarter inch tubing connected to a barbed tea and then I just run a soaker hose around it so that way what happens is when the water supply is turned on the soaker hose evenly waters the container and by using a garden clip you can secure it and now we come to the part of planting the tomato plant now I know a lot of people might give you tips like plant the actual plant very deep so that it sends out a lot of roots it's actually true but uh, the plant itself is so prolific that even if you do not really plant it deep you know just like that is good enough believe me it will send out a very dense root system you can see that about two weeks after planting the plant has grown really well strong stems great leaves it's a good start the support that I use for this tomato plant is the tomato trellis from Grow Tall and you can click on this video link uh, to see a review of that cage so in about 20 days of planting you can see that the plant has grown really well the Juliet tomato plant is one of the most prolific growing tomato plants uh, I've ever experienced. They grow great in this warm California summer. And as you can see, this plant has already started forming some nice fruits here. They look pretty small, but they will grow in size. The Juliet tomato produces fruits or tomatoes that are called grape tomatoes and grape tomatoes are generally on the sweeter side but for the Juliet plant I did find that the taste was not extremely sweet and you will see all the details of this plant towards the end of this video when you see the plant chart. So the rated maturity period for the Juliet tomato is about 75 to 80 days after planting and 40 days later you can see that the fruits have really formed very well and they haven't started ripening yet so we would have to wait for about 75 to 80 days in order to start seeing some red tomatoes on this plant. So, so far uh, this tomato plant has done really well. It first sent out nice healthy shoots and then it's now concentrating its energy into producing fruits. And this is the only tomato plant in my garden right now that is producing a lot of fruits without the flowers falling off. Especially because the temperatures are so high here. It's at about 95 degrees in California right now and the Juliet tomato plant is still producing a lot of fruits
so we have waited patiently for 80 days now and you can see that tomato that just fell down that was a ripe tomato and the other fruits have also started ripening now so 80 days is the time when you can start harvesting your Juliet tomatoes so I would say 80 days is still a good length of time to wait for this plant because it's just such a prolific plant that it's gonna keep producing remember it's an indeterminate tomato plant so it's gonna keep producing wines as it grows till the weather is cold enough to kill it so as you can see the fruits have all started forming completely now and the one ripe tomato that just fell down is incidentally going to be our first harvest you can see how these this tomato grows in bunches here the grape tomatoes grow in bunches and produce a lot these are the rebars holding the cage in place and let's go ahead and harvest our first tomato which is actually fallen down right here so let's take it and it's pretty good firm tomato no signs of cracks so I would like to know from you my YouTube subscribers have you tried growing the Juliet tomato plant and if you have do you like it how do you like uh, its prolific growth its taste do share your experiences by commenting on this video and if you haven't tried growing the Juliet tomato plant yet I think you should give it a shot I'm sure you'll be pleasantly surprised at this prolific indeterminate tomato that just keeps on producing throughout the season so I want to show you how it looks like from the inside so let's cut it open and do a taste test so as you can see the tomato has a not much of juice it's more like a slicing tomato or a paste tomato and it's slightly sweet so it's great on salads and let's see how it tastes it tastes a bit sweet and I'll note that for my taste test in the chart for this plant profile 